Celebration turns to violence and anger tonight. Six teens hurt in a mass shooting after Milwaukee's Juneteenth event. CBS 58's Stephanie Rodriguez is live from the scene with what we know right now. Steph. Jessup, what was a day of celebration here with thousands coming out to commemorate Juneteenth ended with crime scene tape and community members asking why. This is a serious situation that we all need to take hold of. Police say the official Juneteenth celebration ended around 4 on Monday. I'm talking about punching, punch a person, knock a person out. So I'm like, oh, they're trying to start stuff. But shots rang out just 21 minutes later. By the time I got to right here, I heard shooting. Oh, there she go. One woman says she saw an argument start and went to alert police. All of a sudden, gunshots ring out. While others sprang into action to help a young girl who was hurt. I was looking at her and observed that she had a serious neck wound, blood coming out, seeping out. So I applied pressure to that. Hours later, police confirming four females and two males, all between 14 and 19 years old, were hit by bullets in a crowd of people. There were families out here. There were kids out here. There were babies out here. Police urging the community to help do something about the violence. Milwaukee, what's going on with our children? Parents, guardians, elders, we need to engage and ensure that this violence that our children are bringing to these streets cease. Community members are also upset about the ongoing violence in the city, especially on a day like this. Something got to give. It hurt my feelings because we supposed to be able to enjoy days like this, but it hurt. They didn't have to do this here at Juneteenth. People came out to have fun. All six people shot here today are expected to survive their injuries. Police say that the shooter was a 17-year-old boy who was also shot today. However, they do say they are searching for additional unknown suspects. We'll keep you updated with more information as we receive it. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Rodriguez, CBS 58 News.